I don't have a lot of new announcements, just to kind of talk about some of the things we talked about this morning. Uh, new classes start uh, next Sunday morning. Uh, there's books on the, in the vestibule. Uh, also, our fall focus uh, will we'll start uh, uh, the next Wednesday, October 6th, and uh, all of our members will be doing our Wednesday night lessons. Uh, also, I uh, uh, want to welcome the Retzer family uh, and place a membership with us, but also we we'll had some great news this afternoon. Uh, Jessica Dieselcamp has placed membership with us, and she's been coming here for 10 years or so. <laughs> but uh, she's sitting with the Prashers, and uh, we appreciate her place of membership. And I think my wife is going to put her to work pretty soon. <laughs> but we appreciate that. Uh, also, uh, we talked about uh, the special, you know, contribution we're going to take up next week uh, for Mozambique. And I just wanted to, you know, anything over what we usually average per week, you know, for the budget, will go to Mozambique, how, however much that is. And so we look forward to that. And uh, because as we uh, discuss and, and talk to Ron, and, and Dennis talks to Ron, it's kind of a, a, a big window about what they need. Uh, hopefully it will at least meet the minimum, but we appreciate uh, uh, the members uh, helping that contribution for the work. And uh, it's kind of like... Uh, uh, you look at what they're doing over there, and you think about getting your money's worth. Uh, we are getting our money's worth in Mozambique because uh, they've baptized so many people. And, and it, it's not like the U.S. They're asking for people to come and teach them. The U.S. is stay away from me. I don't want <laughs> to learn. I don't want to know. And so that just, just what's so great, they have that opportunity, and they've been taking advantage of it for, for several years now. Let's go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, again, we approach your throne, and we're just so thankful uh, and privileged to be your children. We're so thankful for the opportunity to come and worship you in the country that we live in, that we have the freedom to do as we please, and that we can serve you to the best of our ability. Hope, Lord, that whatever we say and do is in spirit and in truth, and we glorify your name in everything we say and do. In Christ's name, amen. <clears throat> well, good evening, everyone, and everybody that's online worshiping with us this evening. This is about our four Sunday singing, and our topic for this evening is going to be Jesus, my love, my light, and my Lord. And our leaders tonight picked out songs that go along with that theme. We'll sing a couple songs or have our opening prayer. First song we're going to have this evening is, The Lord is my light. The Lord is my light. Mm -hmm. The Lord is my light and my
What is love? After this, we'll have our opening prayer for this evening. What is love? Mm -hmm. Oh, what is love, a small fragile thing, it's hard to say words that make your heart sing, a gentle breeze, a with me please Heavenly Father as we come to the close of such a beautiful day we can only can't help to consider your creation the power of your word Father that spoke into existence the mighty mountains the beautiful oceans the powerful storms Father and the intricate beauties of lilies of the field and Father, you created all of these things, and you created us. And Father, you sit over this universe that you've created, and you love us above all things you've created. Father, we're so thankful that we can come to you as our Father and as your children. We're thankful for this time to gather as your children upon this earth to raise our voices together in songs, to praise you, and to sing about the beauty of your creation and the love that you have for us. We're so thankful, Father, for the health and strength that we have to be here this evening. And, Father, we recognize that many of our number, even those who are sitting here, are stricken with diseases of their flesh, Father. We pray that you would be merciful to them, that you might give them comfort, that you might heal them of these diseases. But, Father, we also recognize that these things remind us of the frailty of this flesh and that this world is not our home and these bodies are not made to be permanent that we have a better home that Jesus has promised, that he has gone to prepare for us and that he will come again to bring us to it, Father. And we're so thankful that he was willing to leave that home in heaven to come to this earth and give his life so that he might ransom us, 
Redeem us from the sins we've committed, Father, so that we might live upon this earth in hope. Father, we're thankful for all that you bless us with, and we pray that as we think about the contribution for next week, that we will examine our hearts and, and find a way to give extra, Father, so that seed might be sown in Mozambique, so that souls might be won for you. Father, we pray that you would be with our brothers and sisters there and all over this world. As we work to serve you, Father, we pray that you would bless us in that work, that you might give us strength and courage to stand for the truth that needs to go into this world, Father. Father, we pray that as we continue in this service, the things we do tonight will bring glory to you and honor. And we pray, Father, that our lives that we live each day will do the same. All these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. No one ever cared for me like Jesus. Something beautiful. We will repeat this song.
remind me, dear Lord. First song is going to be again the Lord of Light and Life, and this song does go to the tune of "Am I a Soldier of the Cross?" So we, um, so we do know the song, know the tune, just again a different message. So anyway, so hopefully that'll help us as we sing this song. And oh, again the Lord of Light and Life.
Jesus is all the world to me. Jesus is all the world to me.
you all would, please stand with me for a song. <clears throat> We're going to sing all four verses of Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. <clears throat> all four verses. we'll sing The Great Physician, all four verses of The Great Physician. <clears throat>
As Mike announced at the beginning of this service, the title of the service is Christ, My Life, My Love, My Lord. And because I tend to remember hymns a little bit, I recognize that that came from a hymn that we had learned, I guess, a year or two ago in the new hymn learning class. I snuck a, a glimpse at the sheet, and I think we'll be singing it again shortly. But as we're singing this hymn, Christ Above Me, I think it's worth noting that this actually comes from an ancient Irish prayer called St. Patrick's Breastplate, part of which appears on the screen behind me, the relevant part. It says, Christ shield me today against poison, against burning, against drowning, against wounding, so that reward may come to me in abundance. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me, Christ in the, ear, in the eye that sees me, Christ in the ear that hears me. I think that this is a particularly beautiful specimen of poetry, but one of the things that I find most intriguing about it is that it begins with kind of a generic prayer for protection. Uh, the tradition says that St. Patrick prayed this as he was going into a region of Ireland where he was worried that he was going to be attacked. So he's asking for God to protect him. But then he says, the reason why I want to be protected is so that my reward may come to me in abundance. And his reward isn't wealth, it isn't riches, it isn't peace, it isn't safety. The reward that he wants is Christ everywhere in his life and Christ everywhere in the lives of everyone whom he encounters. And if you think about it, that's something that we should want for our own lives as well. Christ is not merely our Savior. He also is our reward. Turn with me in your Bibles to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. This is a passage that I think really encapsulates this idea. It's commonly read at funerals, verses 13 through 18. We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers and sisters, concerning those who are asleep, so that you will not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again in the same way through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For we say this to you by a word from the Lord. We who are still alive at the Lord's coming will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the archangel's voice, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are still alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. This is the goal toward which every Christian strives. That through eternity, we can be with the one whom we love, that we can be with the one who has loved us so much. It is in fact fair to say, that the best single word description of heaven is Christ. The presence of Christ in heaven is what makes it heaven. And in the same way, if you want a two word description of hell, the best way to describe it is no Christ. It is the place where God and Christ are utterly absent. And those who are miserable inmates of hell will realize too late just what the presence of God has meant to them throughout all of their lives. This indeed is the choice before every one of us this evening. Do we want to go toward an eternity that can be summarized by saying Christ? Or do we want to live a life and seek an eternity that can be summarized by saying no Christ? That's the choice that there is. That is the most important choice of human existence. And if you recognize this evening that you are on the no Christ track, 
then you are headed only to desolation and misery. The saddest thing, perhaps, about that tragedy is that it is unnecessary. I've talked to people before who didn't think that they were good enough for Jesus, and that's ridiculous. We don't come to Jesus because we are good. We come to Jesus because we need him to make us good, to purify us from all the things that we cannot cleanse ourselves of by ourselves. So if you recognize that you are here this evening and you need cleansing so that you can have Christ, we'd be happy to help you with that. It may be that you need to be baptized into Christ. It may be that you have done that, but you recognize that in your life you've not been walking with him, and so you'd like the prayers of the congregation and finding your way back. But whatever your situation, recognize that you can live a life and move toward an eternity that is filled with Christ, or you can live a life and move toward an eternity that is filled with the opposite. The choice is yours. Come now while we stand and while we sing. You have partaken of the uh, Lord's Supper today. If you let us recognize you by raising your hand or standing. Acts 20, verse 7. On the first day of the week, when we were gathered together to break bread, Paul began talking to them, intending to leave the next day, and prolonged his message until midnight. This particular verse uh, that I'm referring to today because a question of why we gather on the first day of the week to break bread uh, is very significant to keep into the memorial to in the remembrance of Jesus when in this particular verse is referring to being an adverb and according to the English language and in this particular case it's referring to a day when Paul and his traveling companions along with Luke arrived this would have been seven days before which would put this at Sunday the first day of the week it's not a regular meal in breaking of the bread if you think about it the common sense would say Luke and his traveling companions would not have waited seven days 
to have a meal. And this was a particular meal that was taken on the first day of the week. And it was understood by the people that Luke was writing to that this was a common practice. At this time, we're going to go ahead and give thanks and remember Jesus. Father, at this time, we bow our heads. We thank you for the sacrifice that was made by Jesus, Father. We're thankful for the bread that represents his body that was broken on the cross for us, Father. Father, that may those that partake of it today examine themselves and partake of it in a manner that's well-pleasing in your sight. It's through your son's name we pray. Amen. Let us give thanks for the fruit of the vine. Our Father, we bow our heads again, Father. We're so thankful for your son, Jesus, and the blood that was shed on that cross, Father. We're thankful for the fruit of the vine that represents that, Father. May those that partake of it examine themselves and partake of it in a manner well-pleasing on your sides. Through your son's name we pray. Amen. Is there anybody that wishes to lay by in store? Again, thank you for everybody's presence tonight and those that are worshiping with us online. Just glad we're able to get out and worship together with one another. I have to be honest, when I put this uh, title together and I told Matt about it this morning, you know, they said, I did tell him, Jesus, my love, my light, my Lord. And when I thought of that the other day and I put it out there to Tim to send it out, I sat there thinking, that song come, that comes from somewhere. I couldn't think of the song. Until Matt goes, oh, yeah, it's Christ above me, isn't it? Oh, that's where that is. It's Christ, my love, my life, my Lord. But in any way, it was great. I, I enjoyed the singing, enjoyed the songs we had tonight. If you all stand with me, we'll sing this song, Christ Above Me. I've been wanting to reintroduce this to the uh, congregation here and sing some more. We'll have our closing prayer. And just a few notes on the song. As, as you start into it, this, this part of it leading into what was seem to be the mid portish song we sing this kind of slowly and then we pick it up just a little bit speed through the middle and then come back to this again and sing just a little slower so just kind of fall but christ above me and we'll sing this and have our closing prayer and be dismissed mm -hmm. rise above me rise beside Rise with me.
Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, thank you so much for this opportunity we have had to come together to sing about Christ and all the aspects of who he is and what he does for us. We are so thankful for all the blessings that are found in the church and our family here. We're thankful that Jessica has chosen to, to journey with us. We pray that we can both all work together in the way that helps us all to go to heaven, to see Christ and see you in eternity. Father, we thank you for opportunities that come our way to, to serve you and to, to share the light of Jesus. Help us to recognize these opportunities that, as they come. We thank you for especially for this opportunity now we have to help spread the word to the folks in Mozambique that uh, want it and need it. And we are so thankful for the people that are working over there, serving you. We ask you to bless them with safety and safe journeys uh, and effective use of their abilities and their time. We're so thankful for all those that work in that area. Father, be with us and help us to serve and glorify you every day. In Christ's name, amen. Uh.